Alright guys, so it's me again, and this video is gonna be so cool because we're gonna be using a really cool tool for getting here um, to reverse shell. So first of all, um, I'm gonna be show you how we can actually start with um, analyzing um, to for its source code of the website. Then we can availability we get here and injection here. Then I will show you it's really cool things. It's who calls why so serial that and it will giving us the here reverse shell. Then it will be really cool. So if you're ready right now, so let's get start. Okay. So um, the first of all, um, this is our source code about this web siding. So we are available to be go here to something different. Um, you can check it like that. But it's not important things, but it has to be got here. So you will get your um, it's actually look like J Tintin and Admin <clears throat> to log in here, but it's not important. So the first thing we have to be able to get here the source code analyzing. So if you're checking here of this web application, so you will see some important things. For example, there's a binary we can check, and properties, scripts, views, and too many things to hear. The for sure you have to be analyzing all of them to if you're checking or something. But the one thing has to be attraction here directly, so it was on the waves. So we have to be going here to waves. Then there's a we found as a view start CS HTML file. So it is really injectable. So we're gonna be using here this CS HTML file for analyzing it. Then we can available get here or in shell. So let's try to be ready it with sublim text. And great. So it's um, CS HTML coding here we found. And we know they're using so using system tags and using system web secrets is serial, serialization. So it's what about it's about here if um, the zero is not equal to context station case counts and it is um, if null is not in to request QQs get profile. Um, byte convert from base64 citrine and contacts request quickest with profile and value string citrine and utf encoding here and get citrine data and it's sending on javascript serializer and new javascript serializer it's save it as resolver here and the object is can as profile here we can save it as serializer and deserializer. It's the string type of the object here we can catch. And it's catch on an exception. So for the understanding it most clearly, uh, we can try to be sent it on chat GPT, I think here. So let's try to be sent. And it's actually giving us is more important idea for it. So um, to ACP and NAT is declaration specified current viewer page. And using directories is the importing namespace to specific classes or methods. And the session and cookie handling here, so that was which one is important. So because it was on their C sharp, uh, there's on looking for is the JSON serialization. It's over here, a system web script serialization here. So there is the important things we can try or reverse shell. So it's because it's changing here the byte from base64 citring and uh, save it on, on JSON with station and cookie. So after that wall, so what we know here, so um, should we try here? Not.txt, not.txt. So what what we know actually here? So it's uh, I think it's important for so or should we try here the draft? Um, nope. It was like anyway. So we can try in here. So it's. Um, Sending from C sharp, 
and we now add contacts on session case count and decoding with base64 string from cookie so it's decoding from base64 from cookie so it's a button here so we can try to be exactly build in a storage so it's sending here or storage in the cookie here so i think we have to be deleting it it's because delete all great um it's meaning here uh, changing from the code base64 from cookie so if we can manipulate in here the cookie we can get reverse shell then it's call here um, the why so serial exa so we can try here for uh, y so serial uh, file so it's not it's windows executed it's could be like that which one should we use uh, okay we have to use that great so let's try to be use it it's on your windows machine um you just have to be go here in release uh, has to be installed this on your box is like that so i i rather do that then has to be try to be go here go back and go back so it's on release and powershell you can try and unless <clears throat> so it, it was it was not cool. Okay. Um PowerShell and LS. So that's what have to be using here. It's yes so sorry X file. So how we can use it, it so it's important things to hear and how we can use and is it important? So we can try here to go for and which um JavaScript serializer here to be using it. So they are using for JSON deserialization of using your JavaScript serializer like that. So it's important to hear the OR file has to be looking like that. Dash app and JavaScript serializer. And we know it's important things is decoding from base64. So why we have to be using here dash o and decode it base64. Okay, so it's time to be giving here the dash g. So it's important here driver here, uh, which driver if they are using here. So we have to be looking for the driver. And this person is can getting here important things from the here get driver here. Because you know it's important for it's getting here to form driver. Then we can send it or manipulating here the cookie is really cool. So it's important to hear this which ones have to be changing or our driver. So if you can check in your drivers correctly, you can manipulate in your cookie. And get here it's <coughs> um to reverse shell correctly so that's what they what we that's which is cool it's actually here so anyway so we just about it it's as re contact request cookies gets and contact gets cookies and cookies and profile value so it's has to be which uh, one is has to be or cookies um name is here it's profile so we have to be used like that so after that all um, we are available to know it so let me zoom in for you one more time and dash g has to be go here object and data provider um it was this you know, which one is important here and then after the dash c you can try your um to come out here so for sure we are going to be using for cmd dash c and curl http and giving your ip address this could be like that and so which port want to be actually we are giving here and uh, your shell.exe is it for sure you have to be creating here shell.exe firstly uh, so do okay minus here but you can try the same things this is msf venom dash p windows x64 powershell versus tcp uh, with l host with l port and giving your file extension and your file name here then you're available to be get your shell.exe so it's what's actually we are try here to be listening for the http server on 80,000 port so then has to be uh, saved as in C for sure on program data. 
So it was not Mercure because it's not Linux um, tool. You have to be try on your Windows machine like that. So I was try as the same method as the Y server so serial exe file and giving your file name or file name is JavaScript serializer and base64 encoding object at our provider and it will give you base64 exe file here as could be like that. Then I already is saving here as could be like here. So you just have to be give it down for your profile that access. So it has to be changing here. You have to be correctly be selecting it. Then you have to be go here. So let's try to add one. And we know our name is this profile. And value is equal to that. So um, it's important here is that all. No, it's not. Um, because we are working on HTTPS and we're sending more um, to shell.exe from HTTP. So we have to be changing it with true. So after that all, um, we are available to be sent it's, it's correctly here like that. So we just have to be wait maybe. <clears throat> so should we change it maybe with this okay let me try to log in um, J. So not pro staff J Tington. Okay. All right. So it's sending successfully. Now it's time to be um, to reverse it. So it was available to be same things and just see me the end program data shell that exit like that. That it will give you a reverse shell here directly. You just have to be go there and uncat listener and go for your cookie station one more time and try to be send it one more time and just time to be waiting maybe here one more time. So let's try yes all right so we are available to be get here to reverse shell and we can manipulating it right now so it was really short video but i think it was really cool it's a bad thing yes it's a real exa so you can try your um to hacking um, it out to fit um, together reverse shell with this uh, thank you for watching this video